I'm just taking it easy because I see all this uh, pea soup on the surface. It made me wonder. Oh, ground to a halt. It's absolutely silted up. All right. Well, I'm having a fight my way through this carefully. I can hardly lift out the paddle with the amount of weed I'm bringing up. And I don't want to flick it into the craft. Oh, bear with me. Now I take it, it's to the left here. Oh, I'm stuck. All right, let's free myself up. Come on. I'm actually not sure where I'm supposed to go here. Man alive. That was some work. Well, that's me back in. Onwards, as they say. Paddle the wrong way around. Right, we're now travelling down to towards Pitmire, Doors Weir, which is the next uh, portage point. I think I've got myself a splinter in my hand. But, uh, I'll just look back, check I've got everything. And we're on our way. Yeah, it's got a splinter in my hand, so I've got a first aid kit with me in the bottom of the 10 litre white bag that I've got behind my seat. And I'm sure I've got a pair of tweezers, a pair of scissors, and that in there, so I'll get that out in a little while. Good uh, Boy Scout, I am. Well, that was only a really short portage. Uh, Le Marche or Le, Mar Le Marche <laughs> um, it's basically about 20 yards it's just literally out one side of the weir and in the other but every portage is awkward for me at the moment with all my kit uh, with my leg condition but I got there and we're back on the water I think if there's any longer than that then I will actually start need. I need to start bringing my kayak trolley. It's as simple as I cannot carry a kayak and all the kit distance. Well, after Pitmire, uh, it's onto Henny Swan then. So um, that's where I'll be stopping for a bite to eat. It's 11:03 now, so I should guesstimate we'll probably be there about 12. 12, 15, something like that. That's as far as I'm going to go today. Stop for lunch and then uh, paddle back to yours. Now this is going to be fun. Look at this. Okay, I'm going to have to go very, very slow. Obviously the trees come down and one of the branches is right across the river. Let's take it slow. Should get through. I see a chap with a paddle board a minute ago. He got through, so we should be able to as well. It's the skeg I'm worried about underneath. Right, let's just straighten the paddle out. Yep, we're through, only just. I could see the branch under the water. But uh, yeah, we're there. As you can see, there's lots of broken large branches hanging over the river and trees, complete trees down. Another very narrow bit coming up. But doable. 
It's what's under the water that's the worry. What you can't see, not what's on the surface. That's it, we're through. Lovely and shaded bit this, because of these downed trees. It was a very, very pretty weir, uh, small. And in all fairness, if I didn't have my skeg on this, I would actually have, uh, on the way back, I'd run the weir, because it has got a uh, slide section in the center for uh, kayaks and canoes to go down, saving them pool tiles. At the weir back there, the, there was the swans the three young uns and the uh, mother and one of the youngsters was um, very inexperienced and he couldn't c jump up or couldn't get up the weir and the mother was the other side of it basically constantly calling him it went on for ages it was quite nice to watch obviously she wasn't going to leave him but he had to do it on his own and eventually eventually he worked it out one by one they got up and left one behind but eventually it worked it out so once it's done it once I suppose uh, that's it it's cracked it yeah, another very narrow bit here. Just might have put the paddle out in front of me again. All right, let's just get some speed up and glide through. Chunk, large log there as well. I just managed to avoid. That's it. Now I'm through. So, what do you think of this river so far, people? Please drop us a uh, message in the comments below to let us know what you think. As you can see, I'm in no rush. I'm just ambling along. I'm probably doing two, two and a half mile per hour maximum. I want to take in the sights today. Enjoy the views. I never race anyway. Partly because I film. Partly because I don't want to. Another pillbox. I've really had to get my head down and paddle on this little bit off camera. Really hard, but quite enjoyable. Yeah, very, very open, very windy. That's it. Let's get round. That's better. Whew. Deep breath. Obviously there is a flow on this because of the, the weirs and the locks are all going the one way. So um, coming back, the flow's one way. So uh, fingers crossed, I will get a tiny bit of assistance on the paddle back. Even if I just down paddle and continue going for a bit, it'd be quite nice. Always better on the way back than on the way out. Do a load of wave chop on the front of the craft. I don't know if it's coming out on the audio. Yeah, it's quite a heavy paddle this.
we should have a count the pillbox competition shouldn't we there's another one I just keep looking from left to right I can't stop it's just the uh, so beautiful running into the river here from the right hand side here trying to push me back and very shallow and weedy I'll get through it yeah I can see the bottom come on keep paddling David in that deeper water that's it you got through the worst Viaducts we've just gone under, or pit mire, sorry. Oh, it's going to take a rest. Oh, this is so shallow, it's unbelievable. Probably just heard that. I just uh, smashed my pedal blade on a rock. There's a lot of flow going against me that is it doesn't help these when these narrow sections you get that as it narrows down the river runs faster oh. that's it keep on going that's it oh this is actually this is actually fun I take it it's to the left here stuck in a load of pea soup I have to actually duck to duck that tree Stuck. All right, let's free myself up. Come on. Struggling here.
That's it. That's it. Hey there. Right. Cool. I'm not looking forward to going through back through that. May have to get out and carry it. Actually not sure where I'm supposed to go here. Well, I'm very tangled up. Well, there's the weir. And there's the portage point. Man alive. That was some work. I got there. So the full charge point is to my left there and I believe that's the other one you can see straight ahead there so not too far. Alright let's get to the landing stage. We're back in now, away from the uh, pit mile weir. Oh, that was hard work coming through that section, but I've actually now looked at the navigation map and I think I came the wrong route. And it actually has it labeled as hazard, underwater hazards. Um, yeah, don't I know it. So on the way back, I'll hopefully find the other route, which would be a little bit easier, because that was ridiculous. That was actually quite scary. Anyway, it's done. And no harm done to the craft. I've checked it all over. There we go. On to Henley. Nearly said Henley then. That's on the Thames. On to Henley. H-E-N-N-Y. I am H-A-P-P-Y. I am now. Okay, another obstruction ahead. It does like chucking things at you, this river, doesn't it? I'm just taking it easy because I see all this uh, 
fluffy soup on the surface, it made me wonder. Oh, ground to a halt. Oh, it's absolutely silted up. All right, well, I'm having a fight my way through this carefully. I can hardly lift out the paddle with the amount of weed I'm bringing up. And I don't want to flick it into the craft. Oh, bear with me. One more stroke, two more strokes. I'll be clear. That's it. I've got to go back through that. Wow. I had to stop for a bit there. Once I got through, I'd flicked a load of that weed up onto the craft. So uh, I have a sponge and some cloths here, so I was mopping it all down. There was also some uh, water snails in the craft, which I've managed to uh, evict now. No free rides. Hopefully there's no more, but I'll find out when I get to Henny. Another pillbox on the bend. Wind has dropped again now, and it's quite um, calm again. Yeah, so when I get to Henny and have my lunch, I've got to turn the craft upside down. And uh, Because when I got back to Cataway last week, and I was going through the, that floating weed, that pea soup, I had lots of snails all on the bottom of the craft. So. Um, Gives me a chance to get them off and I'll have to do it at the other end as well before I pack, pack the uh, kayak away. I do have my five litre power washer, hand power washer with me so I will be rinsing this off and I'm really glad I bought it because it really will need a good rinse off before it goes anywhere near my bag or my car. Back on a very exposed windy section. Another pillbox to my left. You can literally see the flow here. Oh, yeah. Having a work. half mile we've been one hell of a slog I've just managed to find a break in the wind to talk to you but I've literally been um, flat out pedaling against the flow and really heavy gusts of wind but I'm sure this time I'll actually have that in my favour on the way back he says I can't cross my fingers I'm paddling too hard <laughs> Looks like we might be here at the Henny Portage Point. Yeah, there's the Henny Weir. So the Portage Point is directly in front now in the camera view, and the other one will be slightly to the left. So they're very, very short portages, but this is as far as I'm going today. So I'm going to stop here, have some coffee and a sandwich, and then. Uh, Head back to my launch point. That's a very gentle weir. That's it. That's us there.
and that's it I'm all fed and watered uh, I stopped at Salford Weir which is behind me Henny is just literally about 100 meters that way but as I went so I was actually just going to walk around rather than portage and just have a look uh, a field full of cows just well cows just descended on me as you can see in the footage so um, I've literally had to dive back in the kayak so what I'm going to do I'm going to start my journey back now um, yeah I, I, I've enjoyed it it's been an experience there's been some difficult bits especially with my knee injury but uh, hey ho I'm here I hope you've enjoyed coming along with me on this little trip and enjoyed my video um, if you're new to the channel there's well 169 170 videos to browse through not all kayaking although they have been recently because of uh, physical injuries but uh, yeah I ho hope you enjoy my channel and if you do please like and subscribe every little bit helps to my return viewers and subscribers as always thank you very much your loyalty and your support is uh, very much appreciated right so what I'm going to do I'm going to head back up to Bures now towards Bures and um, I'll see you all on the next video bye for now